السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہوپ سو ایوری ون از گڈ اینڈ فائن ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ان دا پریویس لیکچر آئی ہیو ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ دا فنکشنس آف لیوز اینڈ ماڈیفکیشن ان لیوز ٹوڈے آئی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا سٹرکچر آف فلاور ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس द वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ फ्लावर इंक्लूडिंग द सेक्चुअल रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन्स वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दोज इन दिस लेक्चर ओके द मेन पार्ट्स ऑफ फ्लावर आर पेडिसल थैलमस सेपेल्स पेटल्स कॉर्पल ओके दीज आर द मेन पार्ट्स ऑफ द फ्लावर ओके पेडिसल दिस पेडिसल इज द थिन स्टॉक ऑफ द फ्लावर बाई विच दिस फ्लावर इज अटैच टू द ब्रांच ऑफ ए प्लांट ओके एंड द थेलमस दैट इज द अपर मोस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द पेडिसल एंड दैट पार्ट इज सेवल this part civilian part of pedicel uppermost civilian part of pedicel that is known as thalamus and carries the four whorls of flower sepals petals stamen and carpel sepals and petals they are the non reproductive parts of flower stamens and carpel they are the reproductive parts of the flower one is male reproductive part of flower and second is female reproductive part of flower dear students the base of the flower with which all the parts of the flower are attached is called receptacle okay the base of the flower with which all parts of the flower are attached that part is known as receptacle as you see in this structure this is the base of the flower with which all parts of the flower are attached that whole part is known as receptacle okay after that sepals the green leaf like parts in the outermost circle of a flower those are known as sepals these are the green leaf like parts in the outermost circle of a flower they are known as sepals yeah all the sepals taken together are called calyx in a flower there is not only one sepal there are more than one sepal 2 3 or 4 okay these group of sepals are known as calyx okay and after that that is sepals that is petals those petals are colorful parts of a flower okay they are colorful parts of a flower as you can see in the structure these colorful parts of a flower they are known as petals the petals lie inside the sepals those petals they lie inside the sepals okay and these petals are also in groups in two or more than two three or four five in number and group of petals are known as corolla okay group of petals are known as corolla and group of sepals are known as calyx i hope you got it that group of sepals are known as calyx and group of petals are known as corolla sepals are green in color they protect the flower in the bud stage when the flower is in the bud stage these sepals protect the flower and those petals they are colored parts okay they are colored whorls and group of petals are known as corolla the petals are usually scented the function of the petals or the function of the corolla is to 
attract the insects they attract the insects for pollination and to protect the reproductive function of to protect the reproductive function of petals okay first function is is this first function of these petals or the corolla is that they attract insects and second to protect the reproductive organs which are at the center which are at the center these reproductive organs which are at the center of the flower these are the non reproductive parts of flower dear students now reproductive parts of the flower first that is stamen the little stalk with swollen tops just inside the ring of petals in a flower are called stamens these the structure of the stamens is like this they have a bilobed structure at the top and a thin stalk that is known as filament this thin stalk is known as filament and at the top most bilobed structure that is known as anther okay here you can see that the stamen has two parts anther and filament anther is attached to the base of the flower and the filament the uh, anther they are attached uh, at the top of the filament and this filament is attached to the base of the flower and the stamen is also known as androecium androecium this is the male reproductive part of flower male reproductive part of flower okay it has two parts anther and filament filaments in anther there are pollens present okay there are pollens present they are also known as male sex cells these pollens are also known as male sex these pollens contain pollen grains they are the male gametes second that is known as that is corpel in the center of a flower in the center of a flower there is a flask shaped organ this flask shaped organ that is known as corpel second name of corpel is pistil we can say it pistil also or gynoecium gy gyno shiam this is the female reproductive part of flower this gynoecium is the female reproductive part of flower a corpel is made up of three parts this corpel that is made up of three parts the topmost part is known as stigma the middle part that is known as style at the base there is a swollen part that is known as ovary okay a corpel that is made up of three parts stigma style and ovary stigma style and ovary the top part of the corpel that is known as stigma stigma is for receiving the pollen grains okay what is the function of this stigma the function of this stigma is to receive the pollen if i can draw the structure here the structure is like this this is the structure of ovary this is the topmost part that is known as stigma okay the function of this stigma is to receive the pollen grains from the anther receive the pollen grains from the anther the middle part that is of the corpel is called stipule the stipule is a thin tube like structure thin tube like structure at the base this is a swollen part swollen part okay and at the base of the corpel there is a swollen part that is known as ovary that is known as ovary the ovary makes ovules and stores them in them these ovary makes ovules and these ovules are the female gametes or we can say female sex cells okay ovules contain the female gametes or the female sex cells of the plant there are many ovules in the ovary and each ovule each ovule contains one female gamete or one female cell the female gamete 
of the plant which is present inside the ovule that is called egg or we can say ohm okay these are the two reproductive parts of the flower first reproductive part of a flower that is stamen second reproductive part of a flower that is pistil pistil is also known as carpel and stamen has two parts anther and filament and this pistil or carpel has three parts stigma style and ovary and in ovary there are ovules present okay in ovary there are ovules present as you can see here anthers they are pollen producing part filaments they hold up the anthers style holds up the stigma ovary contains ovules ovules became the seed after the fertilization by pollen when fertilization takes place when fertilization takes place when the fertilization takes place by the pollen the ovules became seeds other parts of the flower are petals usually they are, these petals they are bright they are colored they attract the pollinators they attract the insects sepals they protect the flower when it is in developing stage when it is budding stage and receptacle portion of the stalk with the lower structure okay and peduncle flower stalk peduncle is known as flower stalk they are these are the different parts of a flower these are the different parts of a flower peduncle receptacle sepals petals group of sepals is known as calicus group of petals is known as corolla sepals are green in color petals are colored in color and two reproductive parts of flower that is stamen and pistil stamen has two parts anthers and filaments and pistil that has three parts pistil is also known as carpel or gynoecium it has three parts stigma style and ovary in ovary there are ovules present this is all about the structure of a flower